What's up, FRT community? Got another video here, question coming from Isaac. This is the second question he's asked, and I'm always here to answer. So if you have a question, put it in the comments. I'd love to help you also, hopefully provide some clarity, help you understand a difficult concept if you're struggling. Now today's concept is simply this. Um, Isaac wants to know on the Draeger ventilator, this is the Draeger, uh, there's an option for PC SIMV and there's an option for PC SIMV Plus. And so what's the difference in the Plus versus just the standard PC SIMV? Now Isaac, full disclosure here, I don't work with the Draeger, nor do I work with PC SIMV Plus, but I have done some research into this and I think I have your answer for you. So here we go. I'm gonna draw two waveforms up here. And these are pressure waveforms. This is PC SIMV. This is PC SIMV plus. Now, before we get to the plus, let's just talk about PC SIMV. We know we have a peep setting, right? Most people are on a peep. Let's just say peep of eight. And we're coming along here, and the breath comes up, delivers, and holds. Because we're in pressure control, you'll get a square waveform. And then it comes back down to baseline. The next time triggered breath comes whatever it is so if it's if you're on a rate of 10 then 60 seconds divided by 10 means you're going to get a breath every six seconds so six seconds later you get another breath it holds and it comes down and back to baseline now with pcsimv we understand that the s stands for synchronized so this breath and this breath might be time triggered breaths, which are fully on the machine side of things. So the vent says six seconds, six seconds, give a breath. Six seconds, six seconds, six seconds, give a breath. That's what the vent is doing. So these would be machine breaths. Unless you notice a dip just prior to, and then you would know that this was a synchronized breath. So this is either a controlled breath or a synchronized breath. Now when you're in SIMV, we know that in between these two breaths, the patient can take spontaneous breaths in between here. These would be pressure supported breaths. If you didn't have pressure support on there, you would just see a slight dip in baseline like this, right? But typically we're gonna use pressure support to help augment that spontaneous tidal volume. So you'll see Control or synchronized breath. Control or synchronized breath, depending if there's a dip here. And then these two are true spontaneous breaths being augmented by pressure support. This is traditional PCSIMV. Now, when we go to PCSIMV Plus, we're going to see the same thing. Peep of eight, pressure up, hold, come down, baseline. Next breath, hold, down. So this looks just like what we have up here, right? You have controlled breaths and a controlled breath. If you have a dip here, then this would become synchronized, right? So this could be a control or a synchronized breath, just like up here, control or synchronized. Spontaneous breaths all happen during the expiratory phase. So the time between time triggered breaths is when the patient can breathe. But from what I understand, when you have, when you are in PCSIMV plus, this mode allows for the patient to not only breathe down here with pressure support augmented tidal volumes, but also can breathe at the top of the inspiratory phase. So when you look at the brochure and the, and, the, and the information from Draeger, when they talk about PCSIMV+, they talk about this advantage to allowing the patient to breathe throughout any phase of mechanical ventilation. Traditionally, a patient could only breathe in between spontaneous breaths, um, in between controlled breaths. So they could only breathe here. But here, what we see with SIMV+, what we see with bi-level, what we see with APRV, 
is that at the top of the inspiratory phase, if you want to call it that, which in SIV Plus you have to call it that, the patient can breathe spontaneously. The patient exhales and you have spontaneous breathing throughout the expiratory phase as well. Now, as VIT modes progress and as new VIT modes come out, this is a trend that I'm noticing is that this idea of give a breath, wait, give a breath, and the patient can only breathe in between those breaths seems to be going away. The newer modes of mechanical ventilation are all allowing the patient to breathe spontaneously on top of a controlled breath and during the expiratory phase. So the patient can breathe spontaneously throughout all of inspiration, throughout all of expiration, assuming there's enough time to do so. If you look at APRV, you have a, you have a, a peep low and a low time set of 0.5 seconds. That's really not enough time to really spontaneously breathe, but the patient can if they want to. And that's the same here with PC SIMV+. Plus. To me, it sounds a lot like bi-level. Not APRV, but bi-level set with say a one to one I to E ratio. So if you're on a rate of if you're on a rate of of let's just say 10 to keep the math easy, then you have a three second I time or a three second peep high followed by a three second peep low and the patient can breathe spontaneously throughout both of those. You could do the same thing here with PCS IMV. Sounds like the same thing. All of this is in a movement and in a recognition that when a patient is not using their diaphragm, diaphragmatic atrophy happens very, very quickly. If a patient is overusing their diaphragm, then you get thickening of the diaphragmatic muscle, which is equally as negative. So what they're finding here is that it's not smart to, to not allow a patient to use their diaphragm. So they're allowing for breathing to happen throughout all phases of the mechanical ventilation state. And that hopefully leads to better outcomes, fewer ventilator days, fewer ICU days, and a decrease in total hospital days. And that's where we make our impact, guys, right there. If you use PCSIMV Plus with the Draeger, will you put a comment down here for me, please? I want to hear how you use it. I want to hear what you see with it. I want to hear if... If it provides benefit to your patient, does it improve synchrony? That's what I'm interested in. Please leave me a comment. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And above all else, hope you're taking very good care of your patients and having a great day.